Well, I don't know how this is going to come out. Uh, this is, uh, this right here, this is one section of, uh, of the stack uh, of the Universal. Uh, what I'm doing right now, even though you probably can't see this, um, is I'm undoing the last um, six or eight screws that hold the top of the assembly together. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off uh, exactly as I normally do. Uh, the purpose for this video is primarily to show the customer uh, what it is that is wrong inside of the um, inside of the stack. That's what this is called. This is called the stack. Uh, I know I'm in the way here with my body, but I'll be out of the way in a second. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this off. Um, you have to be careful when you take this off because it's got a uh, it's got a rubber gasket underneath here that's kind of delicate and also since this is made out of aluminum uh, if you're not careful you could actually bend this piece and that would not be good so I'm very gentle with it but gentle but firm probably hear the it gasket coming off. I try to help it. There is no sealant um, that holds this gasket that holds these gaskets in place. Uh, and you can see them right here. These are the gaskets. Now, on this one, it does appear. On this one, it does appear that they may have used some sort of a some sort of a, a, a thin adhesive or something like that to to hold the to hold the gasket in place. Um, although I don't know why they would do that because it can be positioned. When you put it back together, it can be positioned very, very accurately um, without without using an adhesive. I keep everything oriented correctly so that this can go back exactly the way it came apart. For the time, for the for for the moment here, I'm just going to go ahead and put this, which is the valve, the valves. I'm going to put that right off to the side here, out of the way, and I'm going to zoom in on the problem, and the problem is down here with these little rings and I'm zooming in I hope I can get close enough without to uh, and it's pretty easy to see the crack in that piece right there that's one that's really really obvious uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the, the camera positioned so that I can let it go here. Uh, right here. 
right now. I'm holding the camera. There we go. There's that one. I'll see if I can get a little closer. Uh, you can tell I'm not a production engineer. I think that's this one right here. Where is my finger? Way over there. Okay, I want to come back over here. There we go, right there. That's this one. This one right here. And get over here. Pull this out of here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Get a different, get a better tool here. Okay. that when I would be on camera that I would have a problem. I normally don't have this much of a problem getting them out. <laughs> For some reason. one is being really stubborn. Ah, goodness gracious. There we go. Finally came out. And you can see that this material is just falling apart. And this is what's going to be put in its place. We'll save that operation for another time. But that's what's going to go in place. These are force fit down in there. And I, you can probably tell that by the way, in fact, that it had to be forced to come out. Um, and you notice how all of these, all of these pouches are milky looking. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and take the camera off of here for a second. the tripod out of the way and I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom back out and go down closer so that you can see how many of these are damaged. How many of these are cracked? You know, what's going to happen with these is although there may be one or two of the, some of these that still have a, still have a little bit of integrity. Um, it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time before they all go. Some of them like this one now. This one's kind of odd. This has got a... This one's kind of got a, something strange going on with it. Not exactly sure. This one's stiff. I mean, it's got the rip right here, but it's stiff. Uh, these ones are, these got a crack in them. So about, it looks like about 30% of them have 
visible cracks in them. Um, and the other ones are... And of course what happened with these is that the, the notes on the piano stopped playing uh, on every one of these that had a, a crack in it. And what's also interesting to note is that just two months earlier um, when uh, I did some, some other repair work to this particular piano, um, every single one of the notes worked. Everything worked fine and uh, we weren't actually sure whether or not um, the stack had already had the, the pouches replaced because the piano worked so well after we got the electronics fixed. Uh, it had some problems with the electronics. So anyhow, that's what it looks like. Um, and that's why they need to be changed.